Kasha, if I can just ask you to stay with us. We have General A.K. Sinha who is also with us right now on the show. I want to go over to him for his expert opinion. Sir, as my colleague Akash was telling us, it's too early to tell our audiences what the outcome of the 19th commander talk, Corps Commander level talks that are taking place right now, what the outcome of that is. But sir, I just want to ask you, could you just explain to our audiences, when we can see in the 18th, the 19th talk, that what India is asking for hasn't changed. It's still those two specific locations in eastern Ladakh that we're focusing on. What can India do to push the conversation forward? What is India's bargaining, bargaining chip in such a conversation? Uh, good evening and uh, Jai to you. Yeah, this is the 19th. We have to understand and underscore 19th. Means 18 talks have taken place. There has been, you know, breakthroughs. Uh, you know, there has been breakthrough in number of, you know, clash points or where we had the dispute, where the things have, you know, actually gone as per our way the way we have discussed and way, the, the way we perceive. The, there are friction points, especially in eastern Ladakh, where, you know, uh, the things are not getting solved. But, you know, the Chinese agreed and yielded, you know, whatever we wanted to do it when we have gone to Kalas range after what happened 2020, you know, the Galwan flat. We have gone in Kalas ranges and we have done it. So, Pegangso area, if you see, in that, those friction points, we had something, they have gone back to the major... They have gone back to finger eight. You know, they were supposed, if they were claiming up to finger four, they have gone to finger eight. It was a major breakthrough. There have been also, you know, hot spring area. There has been major breakthrough. What we are talking about, you know, today is the wide junction and those areas basically on those patrolling points, number 13, 14. Now, you know, the details are there. We are also talking about the Chumar area. So the point we have to understand. Now, we, our stands are not the same. These are not there to, for de-escalation and, the, uh, you know, to, to go back. But now, what our stands are? Our stands are there, that, and that has been told to Chinese loud and clear by uh, diplomatically. It has been told by a number of times by right. the foreign minister that, you know, our relation with China depends on the, what is happening on the border. Right. The Chinese always have been, you know, trying to dilly-dally on it. So it has been enlarged. Even now, it is not only in the Ladakh area. The Yangtze has been, you know, added. Arunachal has been added. So talk okay. is particularly, as of today, it is happening in those areas, in eastern Ladakh. But it has been absolute in our term, and Chinese are under tremendous pressure because they are losing ground. That, General, that is the, okay. General, just stay with us for a second. I want to now, you know, you were just talking right now about the diplomatic relationship between both the countries. I want to go over right now to Aman Sharma. He's our political editor. He's with us on the show. Aman, can you just tell our audiences? Because I want to break this down for them. We know that we are about a week away from Prime Minister Modi and uh, President Xi Jinping of China meeting in South Africa for the BRICS summit. India has been very clear, diplomatically speaking. First you solve this issue, then we'll have diplomatic talks. But in practicality, when the two leaders are face to face, how much of that actually applies? See, uh, I think the talks which are happening right now between India and China, the military talks are very significant to us. Significant in the terms of a clear timing. One, this 19th round is happening almost four months after the 18th round. It's happening just a week before Pres uh, Prime Minister Modi and President Xi are supposed to meet in uh, South Africa. And later, the Chinese president is also coming to India for the G20 summit, the leader summit on September 9th and 10th. There seems to be some urgency on both sides to do have some resolution on this standoff, which has been on for the last three years. In fact, what top, so top sources in the government are telling me that from the China side, there are feelers that they want to resolve this now. So far, China has been steadfast in the position it has held, but there are increasingly signals that China also wants to resolve this. So what the talks are happening today, obviously we don't know what uh, will come out of it, but India is expecting some forward movement in these talks. Also, this point that China is facing now a double, in a way, a challenge on both the fronts with Taiwan as well as India. And second, the growing India-US strategic alliance. You know, this is something that China has taken cognizance of that India feels it has. And that is also a bargaining chip that India has. One must also remember that on the LSE, though the perception is that China has, you know, uh, got some advantages position, India also has advantages positions at certain points on the LSE. Hmm. China is very bothered by that. In fact, China has been pressing India to go back from those positions. But Indian soldiers with great bravery and, you know, a lot of commitment in very adverse circumstances and terrain, 
have managed to stick on to those advantageous positions for almost two and a half years now. So India also, it's not only that India wants to push China back, China also wants India to be pushed back from certain locations. It's a mutual negotiations have been going on and as you know the Despang Plains are the main contentious area which is being discussed today as well. Both sides want to do patrolling there. So what to what extent each side can go and patrol, uh, that is the main contention. So these are the major things I think which are being discussed and India, I, I must tell you, is very hopeful for some forward movement at these talks because of the upcoming other two big level uh, meetings which are expected uh, in a week's time and right. then in a month's time. So India is expecting that something uh, positive is going to come out of the talks this time. All right. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Aman Sharma, thank you for joining us and bringing us that context. All right.